Ever wonder what it would be like if you could teleport? Welcome to the mysterious world of teleportation, a concept that has enchanted the human mind for generations. Imagine, if you will, stepping into a device at home and appearing instantaneously on a sun-kissed beach in Hawaii, or bypassing the morning traffic to arrive at your office in the blink of an eye. The allure of teleportation is undeniably potent, promising a future devoid of physical boundaries and brimming with endless possibilities. Its prevalence in popular science fiction is hardly surprising. From Star Trek's transporters to Harry Potter's flu network, teleportation has been a tantalizing staple of our imagined futures, sparking our collective curiosity and fueling our wildest dreams. Yet, as with all things fantastical, there's a twist in the tale. Teleportation might not be as simple or as glamorous as it appears in the movies or books. But what if teleportation isn't as straightforward as it seems? Enter the teleportation paradox, a phenomenon that could turn your teleportation dreams into nightmares. Now let's imagine you've stepped onto a teleportation pad. The machine whirs to life and in an instant you're transported thousands of miles away. Sounds pretty neat, right? But here's where the teleportation paradox comes into play. The teleportation process as we understand it, involves scanning your body down to the tiniest detail, including all the information stored in your brain. It then transmits this information to the destination, where it is used to construct an exact replica of you. But here's the kicker. The original you, back on the teleportation pad, is destroyed. Yes, you heard that right. Destroyed. The paradox suggests that every time you teleport, you're essentially being annihilated and then recreated somewhere else. This introduces a mind-boggling question. Is the person who arrives at the destination really you? Or is it just an exact copy that thinks it's you? If teleportation involves the destruction and recreation of a person, then it's essentially a process of death and rebirth. This raises some profound philosophical and ethical questions. If the teleportation machine creates an exact replica of you, complete with all your memories and personality traits, then for all intents and purposes, this replica is indistinguishable from the original. But does that make it you? And what about the original you that was destroyed during the teleportation process? Isn't that essentially murder? But then again, if the person at the destination is indeed you, then has any harm really been done? These are the kinds of naughty questions that the teleportation paradox throws up, leaving us to grapple with the unsettling implications of what it might mean to teleport. A little less exciting now, isn't it? But hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more mind-bending science concepts. So, teleportation might not be the perfect solution to our travel woes after all. Now don't get me wrong, the idea of zipping from one location to another in the blink of an eye sounds like a dream come true. But, let's take a moment to delve deeper into the teleportation paradox, shall we? What happens to our identity when we teleport? Would the person who arrives at the destination still be us? Or just a perfect replica? These are questions of consciousness that we must grapple with. The teleportation paradox challenges our understanding of what it means to be alive. If teleportation involves the destruction of the original you to create a new you elsewhere, does that devalue life? It's crucial we consider these ethical and philosophical questions before we rush headlong into making teleportation a reality. Because remember, next time you wish for teleportation, remember it's not just about getting from A to B. We've taken a quick dive into the fascinating and somewhat unsettling world of the teleportation paradox today. We've pondered over the concept of teleportation, a science fiction favorite that's been the subject of many a heated debate. We've unraveled the teleportation paradox itself, a mind-bending conundrum that questions the very nature of our existence. We've also grappled with the philosophical questions it raises. If you teleport, are you still the same person or a new entity entirely? Does your consciousness get transferred, or is it replicated? These are profound questions that challenge our understanding of reality. We encourage you to share your thoughts and ideas on this subject. What's your take on the teleportation paradox? Do you believe teleportation could ever become a reality, or do you think it's just a fascinating thought experiment? Stay curious, keep exploring and remember, science isn't always as simple as it seems.